everyone, so it's almost Easter, which means it's time for another Easter DIY. Now, obviously, the absolute best part of Easter is Cadbury cream eggs. However, I don't think those would last quite long enough in my house for me to make a DIY with them. So instead, we're gonna make an Easter egg out of some materials you probably don't want to be eating. So we're going to make this really cute embroidered leather Easter egg, which you could use as a hair clip or a pin or just a cute Easter decoration. So I had this piece of scrap gray leather left over from a project ages ago, and that'll work perfectly for this project because you don't need that much material for it. But of course, you don't have to use gray. White leather would look great for this, or you could use any color of fake leather that you want. And then you'll also need some pastel colored embroidery thread and a needle. So you're going to begin by cutting an egg shape out of the leather. I did this by first tracing a round object on the back, and then just kind of extending it up. And then once you have a shape you like, just go ahead and cut it out. So now it's time to begin embroidering. I found that the easiest way to do this was to begin by making all of the holes for each row with an awl, or you could also just use your sewing needle to make the holes. And then thread your needle and sew whatever pattern you can think of. You can definitely get creative here and mix it up with each row by doing zigzags and X's and dotted lines and vertical lines. Depending on how thick your leather is, this could take a little while to do all of that embroidery, but just put on a TV show and have fun with it. So once you're done embroidering, you have this really cute leather Easter egg, but the back is definitely kind of a mess. So to hide this, cut out another piece of leather that's the same size and shape, and then use E6000 to glue them together. And make sure that you get the glue all the way out to the edges, and really pinch the edges together so that you end up with a nice clean edge rather than gaps where you can still see the back of the embroidery. So once all of the glue is dry, you're pretty much done. Now you have this leather Easter egg that you can use for all sorts of things. You could glue on a safety pin and then wear it as a pin on a blazer. Or you could glue on some ribbon and tie it onto your Easter basket. Or you could attach a hair clip and make a really cute Easter hairstyle. Or you could make really little ones and wear them as earrings. Or if you don't have any leather, you could always make the background out of a heavy felt. Or you could use a pastel colored felt and then embroider white designs all over it. That would be so cute. But really, whatever you can think of, the entire point of a DIY is to personalize it for what you want. So let me know in the comments, do you have any Easter plans? And or, what's your favorite Easter candy? I'm also going to put a playlist in the description with all of our Easter DIYs, so make sure you go check that out if you want even more Easter inspiration. So thank you guys so much for watching HGTV Handmade. Don't forget to press subscribe and like, and I will see you all again next week. Bye everyone!